All right, last thing we're going to talk about in this little section of uh, P5 here, factoring polynomials, is sum of cubes. If you notice, there is no sum of squares. So you can't factor two perfect square uh, terms separated by a plus sign, but you can do sum of cubes. So sum of cubes, you have a binomial. Uh, the first term is a perfect cube, the second term is a perfect cube, and this time there's a plus sign in between. Again, the answer will be a binomial times a trinomial. Now, good news is, is that sum of cubes, the steps are identical to difference of cubes. So that's going to help you out, but you still have to memorize it, uh, or you won't know how to do it. All right, so we're going to look at this. I would love to factor out a common factor. That's what I always do first. However, these two terms do not share a common factor. So I can't factor out a common factor. Next, I identify how many terms there are. As you can see, this is a binomial, so there are two terms. Right now, we know three ways to factor a binomial. Difference of squares, difference of cubes, and sum of cubes. Because there's a plus sign in here, I know right now that the only way that I could possibly factor this binomial is by doing sum of cubes. All right, so if it's sum of cubes, this has to be a perfect cube. I can take the cube root of 27, and I can also take the cube root of x to the 6, because 3 will go into 6 evenly. I can take the cube root of y to the 3rd, and there's a plus sign. So good news. It's sum of cubes. Again, binomial times the trinomial. The steps are the same. Take the cube root of the first term, 3x squared. Take the cube root of the second term, sine included. So the cube root of positive y cubed is positive y. That's how you get the two terms in your binomial. All of your trinomial will be based off your binomial. So uh, when I take this and square it to get the first term in my trinomial, that will give me 9x to the fourth. Multiply these two together and change the sign. So negative 3x squared y. And then lastly, take this term, positive y, and multiply it by itself, which we call squaring. So as you can see, that's our polynomial. Uh, yeah, it's a binomial times a trinomial. This is always unfactorable, so don't waste your time. And that's our answer.